hi everyone in this video we will see data flow analysis what is data flow analysis a data flow analysis in the sense we have to check whether the variable or data is uh, continuously used or not then where where we where we have to change that variable values whether it is needed for further process or not that is called as data flow analysis here consider we are having four blocks block 1 block 2 block 3 block 4 in block 1 we are having three statement block 2 we are having two statement block 3 we are having one statement in block 4 we are having one statement so here in block 1 in the first statement i equal to m minus 1 so here the resultant part i know that is called as data 1 okay the statement the output output is what i i okay so i is called as data 1 for the block 1 j equal next statement j equal to n and that the output variable is what j that is called as data 2 okay then the third statement a equal to u1 so here the output variable a is called as data 3 so totally we are having three data in block 1 in block 2 again what is i equal to i plus 1 here the i is already stored in which variable the which uh, statement d1 okay so d1 i equal to m minus 1 here we are incrementing i value by 1 so again this is called as data 4 okay it's a different data now the value is changed no so that is called as data 4 next j equal to what j equal to n now we are decrementing j equal to j minus 1 so again here the output variable variable is change so that is called as d5 that's a d1 d2 d3 d4 and this is d5 next block 3 block 3 we are having a equal to what u2 what is a initially a equal to u1 now we are changing a equal to u2 so it is a different data here u2 is a different data no so it is called as d6 as a continuation of the previous one d6 okay then come to next block b4 i equal to what u3 what is i i equal to here i plus 1 okay previously i equal to what m minus 1 so here i equal to m minus 1 here that m minus 1 plus 1 equal to what m i value is what m here i equal to what u3 so here it's a different data again we have to assign a different data number okay so already we are having d6 so we have to assign d7 for i equal to u3 okay so like that we have to assign the data number okay then we have to check whether whether the data all all seven data are simultaneously needed for the block executions or not okay that is called as data flow analysis okay while executing the block one statement whether we needed the remaining things or not okay how we have to generate how we have to generate the code for block one okay or data for block one okay next how we have to uh, kill or Uh, remove the remaining data okay that is a data flow analysis okay here uh, see the first block we are having i equal to m minus 1 j equal to n a equal to u1 okay so what all what all the data are needed d1 d2 d3 totally we are having seven data d1 to d7 okay while for execution of the b1 what all the statements are needed d1 d2 d3 the remaining things are not needed remaining things are not needed so we have to generate only these three datas for block 1 execution so generation generation of b1 equal to d1 d2 d3 okay so here we need only three datas then what all the data is not needed d4 d5 d6 and d7 these datas are not needed for the code execution of b1 so we have to kill we have to kill in the sense we have to remove that data 
memory data memory okay so kill of b1 equal to d4 d5 d6 d7 for execution of b1 we need three datas okay at the same time we have to remove the remaining d4 d5 d6 d7 okay so this is the code for b1 then come to second one here in second block we are having i equal to i plus 1 okay we have to check whether the variable i is already used or not okay so where where we are having i in block 1 we are having i equal to what a minus 1 okay in block 4 we are having i equal to what u3 okay so here in block 1 and block 4 we are having different different code for i different code for i so first we have to remove that two code okay which code d1 we have to remove d1 as well as d7 d7 while executing d4 okay if you want to execute d4 means okay you have to kill d1 as well as d7 because in d4 you are having i equal to what i plus 1 in d1 you are having i equal to m minus 1 d7 you are having i equal to u3 so you have to remove these two code okay so generation of b1 generation of uh, sorry generation of b2 here we are having what i equal to i plus 1 so d4 we have to kill d1 and d7 okay then the second statement is what j equal to j minus 1 that is called as d5 we have to generate it generate d4 d5 okay then while executing d4 we have to kill d1 and d7 okay next we have to check where we are having j okay where we are having j means here we are having j j equal to what n okay so while executing j equal to j minus 1 we have to kill j equal to n okay so uh, remove d2 that's a kill d2 so while executing d4 we have to kill d1 d7 while executing d5 we have to kill d2 okay so this is the code for the block 2 okay next come to the statement D6. D6 data 6 equal to what a equal to u2 we have to check where we u where we are having where we are having variable a okay here in block 1 we are having a okay that's all so what the statement d3 so while generating d6 how to kill d3 you have to kill d3 so generation of b3 statement is what d6 at the same time we have to kill the statement d3 okay like that we have to write code for block 4 in block 4 we are having i equal to what u3 that data is called as d7 so while executing d7 we have to check where where we are having the same i variable okay where we are having in block 1 we are having i equal to m minus 1 that is called as d1 in block 2 we are having i equal to i plus 1 so we have to while executing d7 we have to remove we have to remove d1 as well as d4 okay so generation of d7 we have to kill d1 we have to kill d1 as well as d4 okay that's all so this is called as data flow analysis while executing your program you have to check what all the data are currently needed for that particular block okay then what all the variables are not needed this kind of analysis is called as data flow analysis okay thank you